Liverpool, what are you doing to us? Liverpool, I'm 42, I don't want to die. Um, <laughs> Liverpool are back, top of the league, two points clear again. Um, they left it late. It was all a bit mad. It was an own goal. Who gives a fuck? Liverpool are top of the league. They did, they did enough. Spurs will be gutted, but that's good because, you know, we're not Spurs. Uh, we're yeah. made up. And also, as well, Spurs shown <laughs> to me there. They're going to give Man City a game, aren't they? They're going, give, they're going to give Man City yeah. a game. We've got, we've got Damien Cavana, Ian Ryan with me. We're all, we, all, we all, I think, feel like we just played in that one. Oh. The, the cop was absolutely bedlam when that went in. People went absolutely flying. Yeah. If, if ever there was an idea to bring in safe standing, today was that. Uh, some, someone got at least eight rows there. In front oh, of me. yeah. I did at least 20. And came and came back up, you know, towards the end with all kinds of bruises on him. But he was happy and he was smart and he was hugging people. And aren't we all? Uh, I don't know where to start with it. I'm, I'm honestly knackered after that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Mentally and physically fucking shattered after that. You'll notice that this is the post-match two pints <laughs> because I've had one on the way up as well. Me lad um, pretty much carried me or certainly walked me out past the Annie. Uh, there, yeah. Um, the nerves were shot. Uh, it was a great game. I thought Spurs. Uh, I, I think Spurs are a great team. They're the third best Spurs team in the country. Well. Fair play to them. And I thought they played excellent. Uh, we're better than them. And so I think at half time we, we should have been more than a goal in front. I don't think they would have argued. They certainly made a fist of it. Adjusted things tactically, etc., etc. Um, and it's encouraging. I think they'll play that well in Manchester. So over, th over three games. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, and I'm, to, to be fair, there's only one game out of the three that we're anywhere near interested in. But. You know, it's about finding a way to win, which is a cliche. It's about all those things. People will remember where they were when that goal was. I, to be honest with you, I didn't actually see the ball cross the line. I was down the front of the cop by this point. It's a you know, lucky spec. You know, I like the ball bouncing twice off the crossbar in the last the last kick of the game. You know, sort of got that spec down there. But as uh, Salah puts the ball back across the goal, everything just went flying. And um, because everything everything counts so much, a draw at home to Spurs is not a bad result. Four points off Spurs in a season wouldn't have been a bad result, but in the context of the title running, we know we need every single point. And um, today could be the day when we got the points that won the title. We're right in it, aren't we? We are six left here, and, and you know, I think we, we, we just, all the way through, I was just watching that, and especially when we managed to force the victory out of it. And I just think, you know, whatever happens from here on in, let's, let's praise these boys to the rafters because. They're putting absolutely everything into yeah. it. You can see it. You can yeah. see the putting absolutely, and like you can see how much it meant to them when that goal went in. We can't, managed to see a couple of the interviews on Sky and stuff, and, and like they've left everything on the pitch. You know, they've give absolutely everything, and, it, and and they've got the rewards from it. And, and look, there's that thing as well, isn't there? That City, for all that, they're very machine-like, and they just keep winning, and, and they've hit form at a good time. There must be the, the human beings, and they must be sitting at home going, yeah. "Fuck it, nah. Imagine if you're all city. Just go imagine, away. imagine if you're all city playing all fine, watching that, and you see us fucking nick it in that way. I mean, that winning goal. I mean, I pulled a fucking groin when that goal, and I mean, me fucking groin. <laughs> are you up the next game? Are you? I'm the next game. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I then took my fucking keys on the floor, so I took my fucking boot in them everywhere. It's like, oh my fucking god, it's a nightmare. But you live for moments like that. You mm. fucking live for moments like that. And it, it was one of them where Damien touched on it there. A draw at home to Spurs shouldn't be the end of the world. But it no. felt like that going into the last yeah, five it is, minutes. Yes, it is, it yeah. felt like it was all over. And it, in a cold light of day, it probably wouldn't have been all over. Because they, they've still got to play United, they've still got to play Spurs. But it would have felt like that. And it probably would have felt like that to the players. And I think. I think if the manager looks back at that game, he might think he's got away with one himself, to be honest. Because bit, yeah. I, I think you've got I, a I, good I was, point. Yeah. I wasn't overly happy with the start 11, midfield area being the main bone of contention, I suppose. I thought Fabinho should have started. I won't be alone in that. Um, I didn't think that midfield worked. Um, Henderson didn't have a good day. It, I, I, to be honest with you, Robert, I'm not sure any of the three had a really good game. I, I thought I, Milner started. I, thought well. Milner, I think there's, there's little parts in the game where Milner and Wijnaldum do okay. But I just thought, overall... We didn't control it, did No, we, we looked a bit bad. That's the key word. That's the key word. Before the goal goes in, before yeah. the goal goes in, there's about 10, 15 minutes leading up to that. You're thinking, make the change now, because we've started to look a bit more ragged. Yeah. But we leave it, we leave it, we leave it. They get the goal. And then you think, fucking hell, if one team's going to win it, it might be them. You know, Sissoko has that fucking chance where you're lucky it's him. You Virgil, yeah. you know what I mean? Virgil done well, didn't he, with oh, his angles? Just, I mean, he got his angles bang on there, didn't he? I mean, you're really glad it's him. You're really glad it's him. You're really glad it's him. But then, as you've touched on there, you know, this side don't know when they're beating or don't know when to give up. And we forced the, 
we forced a winner and yeah. fucking hell. Sometimes you feel like maybe your name's on it. And we don't want to get carried away because there's a lot to happen, yeah. Well, but sometimes go. when things like that happen, you just think. Well, certainly our name. Is our name on it? You know certainly, what I mean? certainly our name might have been off it. Yeah. Fucking right. Today. So we, it might well be on it, yeah. I think um, I think you made a great point here about the. Um, I think it's the midfield basically. We all know who the best goalie is. We all know what the best back four is. We all know what the best attack is. The question is in midfield, and that midfield, for example, dominated against Paris Saint Germain at home. So he's doing another, another job on them. But to me, Fabinho is in the first eleven if we're going to do anything yeah. here. Now is it Lucas Moore is it number twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Now his quality. When he got the ball, wasn't necessarily the greatest today, but he was absolutely the business. He snapped everything else up, mm. and it was noticeable that we needed someone who was going to bang in and snap yeah. the tackles back. And when Fabinho comes on, he does that. You know what I mean? So I think, like you said before, Jurgen might have got away with a little one there. Yeah. I was very, su very surprised that Fabinho didn't play. And apart from that, I'm not going to moan about the team selection. And the end justifies the means, he's got the results, yeah. so what are we moaning about? We're top of the league. Yeah, exactly. That's all that Don't get me wrong, all that counts for mean? three points at this stage, and that will be that will remain the same for the next six games. No yeah. one's asked, as long as yeah. the three points. But I just think with Fabinho, you see him come on and snap it into stuff straight away, yeah. which I love. It raised the bar straight off the mark, didn't it? His passive range is phenomenal, yeah. and it's incisive as well. He can pick a pass out from deep, where he's finding one of the front three, and the throw on goal, he's got that ability yeah, in his locker. So, a little bit disappointing that maybe he didn't start, but I think now you're gonna look at it and go, he starts the next six. I hope so. He starts the next six league games. Listen, let's let's pull out let's pull out positives because I'm feeling positive because that was boss. I, I, I'm on a high. I'm gonna go and have a pint after this. I don't even care that it's Sunday. Yeah. Um, I think we're all gonna do <laughs> the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? And I, I, I've got to give a big shout, uh, and I'm sure you're all going to agree with me, Robertson. That ball, oh, yeah. that ball for Bobby's goal yeah. is an absolute peach of a yeah. ball. Splits the centre. It was arms. irresistible, wasn't it? It just yeah. it basically, you know, I want to, you know, if you're talking about cliches and sounding like you're Alpha and all that, but Andy Gray would have been screaming, it's demanding to be headed in, isn't it? As the moment it left his boot, it was like we're it's celebrating nine this goal. Yeah. In the Premier League yeah. this season, Joe, yeah. and that's a joke for left back. That, yeah. Exactly, he's a left back. That's yeah. like the numbers that Ronaldo we used to do when he was at well, United. United yeah. are creaming themselves because fucking Luke Shaw's got three in about yeah. five years, you know what I mean? There you go. Fucking yeah. Andy Robbo, you know what I mean? What was it, nine in, nine in, in the league? I think he's got two in, in other yeah, clubs. So, nine in the league I mean, this season. Fuck it now. I was, it was basically. It, it, in coaching football, and I've certainly done a lot of that, they say you can cover a lot of bases, you can cover a lot of angles, and sometimes someone throws a ball in and it's undefendable. Yeah. And the definition of Andy Robertson's cross today, it was, it was undefendable. You get your angles right, you get the right side, and if someone just puts it in the right place for someone else to attack it, and that was the nature of that. That was the best cross I've seen um, for as long as I can remember. I mean, Trent puts a couple I of belts yeah, in against Watford, yeah. but I think... When you've got three centre halves that they've got as well, they're all big lads. You've got, to, you, well. you've got to pick your moment. It's got to be bang ball. on the money. Yeah. You've got to pick your moment when you put the ball into the box. And I think there was times today we were a little bit reluctant to put it into the box because you know it's going to get swallowed yeah. up by the centre halves. But that Robertson cross there, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good finish. Firmino does everything he needs to do with it to put it in the fucking yeah. bottom corner. The goalie can't get to it. But evidence on the cross in it. Just make contact yeah. and you know it's on its way yeah. in. So we had we had some I mean I, I think you know swing back the other way now, Damien, and just say that we, we first half as well. There were a few moments where you were like, lads, what are you just doing? You know, oh, like, there's a well, few self-inflicted injuries. Alisson was having a mad one, wasn't he, to yeah. start off with? I mean, he's, he, <laughs> took, I mean, he settled in, didn't he? And then, particularly uh, late on in the first half, he flashed one right across uh, the goal. Is that he? where the goal he saves it? I think Robertson... No, no, the, the had one with, uh, where he, he flashed it right across the goal. Yeah, it was a really yeah. dangerous ball and that. But there was a couple of moments, uh, and I know Marnie, made a vital interception at one point. And Jordan, you're talking about Jordan not playing too well. He made a little one block at the last second when someone was about to shoot early on as well. So there was a bit of that going on. So yeah, we certainly had our moments. And it's almost like um, they settled better. And then we got the goal and then we looked like we were in control of it, do you know what I mean? We, we, and we did. But again, Spurs quality and Spurs resilience, fair play to them. He, he did rally, you know. Um, it's unusual for Alisson to look unsteady and he did look yeah. unsteady but late on I mean look at their goalie oh I, uh, I mean well exactly yeah but equally by the same virtue late on in the, like the second longest injury time in my life because oh. Chelsea 05 was the sixth longest minute I've ever actually lived in my life but he was handling the ball he was grabbing the ball and you know I was like you know praying and it was just this side of a nervous breakdown and, you know, and, 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 it, and it went great didn't it so yeah fair, okay fair play we did look a bit dodgy 
But we did look a bit dodgy, and we beat a Boss Spurs team, what played very well. That's what I think we've got to say, isn't it? Like, like let, let's not be soft about this. Like, they, they looked a decent side, and to be fair, that's not a new thing now, you know no. what I mean? They, they finished runners up in the league, they finished third a couple of times, they've got a good manager, they've now got a nice looking ground. Yeah. You know, and, and okay, that ground might have meant that you know they not they didn't spend much, well, they didn't spend any money in the in the transfer no. window. But I, I thought it was interesting what Jurgen said about Spurs, and uh, you know, I quite I quite like the idea, you know, that we've just got a sound manager who just talks about football like on the yes. level. And, and, and you know, he, he does and to be fair, to, to be fair, to was, Jürgen, he, it's a good point you make in there. Pochettino is, does it as well, and I think Guardiola's it as well. They're just respectful. They yeah. like each other's teams because they say, mm. "Listen, lads, you've got a boss team as well, haven't you?" Yeah. And I love that level of respect. Yeah. I think there should be more of that. And that, that's exactly what you got before the match. And Jürgen was saying, you know, okay, people look at it and say they haven't spent money. But what that then means, of course, is that they're all used to playing with each other. They're used to the system. And you know, I, I can't be the only one when Son was coming and going. Oh no. I mean, I think I said it on a, one of the shows on Friday. If you could take maybe one player from Spurs, and okay, might be the obvious one for some people, but Son's the one you think yeah, he could come in too. and compliment what we've got. Take any of our boys out, you put him in. He's full of energy, quality as well. Um, you spot I, on I, I spent Friday afternoon. Yeah, I spent well. Friday afternoon slagging the lease off, so he fucking <laughs> lift, lift up to the bill for me there. To be fair to him, I did take Damien's part. I thought, thought Alison today looked. Probably the shakiest he's looked. But I, I mean, I don't really know what was going on. And you have that kind of a couple of straight passes, and the the incident with Milner where they clash, and then almost you know yeah. someone gets on the end of that, and you think, fucking hell. And it was like that for a while, and then they kind of spread through the team. Really, we I think between thirty and forty-five, we couldn't seem to find the fucking man. No. It was a bit mad, really, and, and I don't know whether it's just nerves because. At the end of the day, we're talking about something fucking huge here, aren't we? We're talking about winning a league title for the first time since 1990. So they probably wouldn't be human if it didn't get to them a little yeah, bit. Indeed, yeah. But it did, there's no fucking favours in the stands, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you could do it out six more of them, but I'm just absolutely fucking delighted we've got through that yeah. with three. Brace points. yourself for six more. Honestly, there, there's a few little bits, wasn't there, Damien, where you know you you went a little bit, oh come on, but again understandable, but you know, like I thought, I thought Henderson got a few verbal volleys from the crowd, but I mean, yeah. probably by his own admission, he didn't play well on some of those balls he tried, but were nowhere near. Mo got one as well with the little round the corner that he tried that just went out. Yeah. But I thought those few moments aside, the support was great. Oh, the support, uh, the, the support, support from Mo was in great. particular. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you could see him when he was going off. He was made up with that. He oh was yeah, made up. yeah. I'm glad he That's is. That's eight you games know. now without a goal. What but. a player! You know, it depends which way you want to look at it. When we signed, and we didn't think we were signing a goal scorer machine. Exactly. Yeah. We thought we were signing someone who was going to seriously contribute to us offensively yeah. with a lot of goals and a lot of assists. And that's how it turned out. If you look at his statistics over. A season and three quarters, it's sensational. If you look at the statistics this season alone, it's absolutely excellent. And it's no coincidence. A lot of people have been talking about Sadio Mane recently, but the reason Sadio Mane's open is the fact that people are doubling up on Salah. See that and that, yeah, 100%, yeah. So it's a team game, and if you've got team players, that's uh, the so great the thing. Fact that the two steps away from them virtually for 90 minutes. All the time, yeah, but then it opens an angle for somebody else. Yeah. And those three, um, in all my time watching Liverpool, they're, they're as comfortable as, he, as anybody for le laying each other on. And I know mm. there's been some criticism recently saying, well, Salah shouldn't have shot there, he should have laid him in. Well, OK, that, that will always happen. But on the whole, seriously, they don't have to play for each other, don't they? They mm. seem equally as made or uh, whoever scores. And I think they also realise they're on the brink, they're on the brink of winning the league or the big cup, by the way. Which everyone yeah, seems to be. Uh, uh, it's amazing. From the quarters, for Liverpool, being cut. For Liverpool, Get in. Yeah, well, for Liverpool fans in particular, which with such a, a loving relationship with that, I mean, I personally would rather win the big cup than the league, not ordinarily. Yeah. But I'm old not enough to. Time. Yeah, but I'm old enough to remember this. Yeah. Yeah, all that business, you know, all that generational thing and all that keep it. But it's like, it's like as if we're getting a day off in the European Cup quarter final. Yeah, it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a free hit. It's it is, like... yeah, yeah. And, and basically, looking, going forward, looking at it, uh, if these lads just keep continuing to play as well for each other as they do, and the support is, and, and going back to what you were saying before, the support has been fantastic. I mean, that support there against uh, Bournemouth, Really good, for yeah. example, yeah. Uh, there was, a, I think, it was an overanalysation about how it was against Leicester when we drew with them on a freezing ass Wednesday night in January. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When there's a long portion of the season to go, the support's been fantastic, the players have been fantastic. We are, apt, uh, you know, the definition of that day, winning at the end like that, 
for example, for anybody, and fair play to any other team who does very well. Let's talk about uh, Man United, for example, who have been an excellent team over many years. If they win a game like that, it's like, well, there you go, that's the courage, that's the crowd, that's the manager, that's the players. Liverpool have done just that today. We have the ingredients to win the league. We are that close. And what we're doing is, and I like Carragher's um, point, we keep maxing it out and keep winning and keep winning. We're going to make Man City have to win yeah. every game. And if they don't, then it's ours. But that, that's what you've got to keep doing. Keep yeah. making them do something. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone fair keeps, play to them. Well, absolutely. Everyone keeps telling me they're the best side that's ever played the fucking game. And, we're going to find out who is. And maybe they are. But yeah. we're neck and neck with them. And there's every chance that Liverpool picked them to this title. I mean, Spurs were good it's today. Genuine, yeah. Spurs were good today at times. They're going to play them three times. You said before, you're interested in, in the league game only, but they've got three games that are going to be so intense. You can't tell me that one takes up the out of their legs. Spot on, the media are all over the, it. The, Everyone's yeah, all the whole over it. Never mind the media as well. I'll tell you something. I'll, I'll say something else as well. Never mind the media. Man City, of course, they want to win the league. I don't, I don't doubt it for a moment. They want to win the league as, as much as us. But equally, the people who run that club want to win that big cup. They yeah. want to win that European yeah. cup. Yeah. And the pressure of having to play Spurs and the pressure of us having to play everything and whatever. So it's relentless, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it might be that the pressure, you know, of playing Spurs, an excellent team that runs them round and doesn't actually even beat them in any of those three games. But it might mean that they haven't got enough in the tank to play somebody else. Even, even mentally, Damien, you can't yeah. switch off, you know what I mean? No. Mentally, fatigue, physical fatigue, all that, it all could play a part. And Which is right back on us. Absolutely. Equal measure. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you win today, you beat Southampton on Friday night, and then you see where you are, and then it gets fucking tasty then with yeah. five to go. And let's, see what the, and let's see what they're made of then. And as I say, spot on. Even if we even if we do four short, and I think we'll go and win it now. Uh, that, that was so big today. I felt yeah, if, we, if we get through yeah. that game with three points, there's every fucking chance we go and win it. And but even if we do fill, fill a little bit short. Those lads are not let us down, have they? Let's be honest. I think they're, gonna, they're gonna finish on something like 90 or points. Think, I'm not going anyway. That's ridiculous. I'm not I think psychologically, uh, and psychologically does come into it, but equally, what I've really loved about Jürgen's uh, approach this season, uh, the whole gig and press and, and all that business, last season and you know we were flying out the blocks and whatever we're so much more controlled aren't we so we have looked like a team that said I'm not asked about last week I'm not asked about next week I'm going to win this game right but had we not won today we'd be behind Man City and they have a game in hand now that is a dangerous place for us to be so as long as and it reminds me very much of 1985-6 against Everton who were then the current champions yeah. where we were playing weekend midweek weekend midweek and each team each result was going we're top we're top yeah. we're top and all we can do is keep cranking the pressure up now I don't mean that that's when Everton lost to Oxford that one yeah, that was, yeah, yeah it's a great day in my life <laughs> I don't know that, yeah. but what I'm saying is I, what I'm saying is I don't think, think mentally Man City's players will worry about that because you can throw that right back at us but what it means is if you make a mistake yeah. we can do you and that's a, that was all today that was definitely the hardest game we've yeah. got till the end Less, of the season yeah, yeah. apart the from of course the European Cup final Listen the Reds are absolutely brilliant the Reds are mustard the Reds are giving it everything to win this title so let's get right behind them let's see where we end up let's enjoy going to Anfield let's enjoy going the aways let's big up our players let's say that we are supporting one of the best teams, if not the best team in the country right now. It's a great time to be a Red. That's been the post-match pint. Nice one, boys. Let's go and have a fucking post-match pint. Come on, you Reds! Get in there!